Peace and love out there, family. Today we're going to go ahead and discuss how food and environment is information. Hold on one second. Don't worry, I'm double cup, but it's a uh, sea moss. Sea moss tea. All right. So let me give you my first example on how food and environment is, is uh, information. So uh, my ancestors used to take their stool and put it back in the soil. That way the soil and the stool communicated on what nutrients and minerals I'm missing from my body. So if I put it back up, if I put it down in there and the uh, soil knew that I was missing iron, it'll make a more potent iron plant like the burdock or it'll make more iron plants that I can go ahead and ingest and get that mineral back so I can communicate with the universe why do I say the universe it might sound like spookism but let me tell you let me break it down real quick in a simple way my if my soil can communicate with the I mean if my stool can communicate with the soil therefore the soil communicates with the earth the earth communicates with the sun the sun communicates with the universe therefore we get in the universal law which is uh, what they call instinct. So, all right, our ancestors used to do that process and they'll get, that's how most people say we're still connected to the ancestors due to processes like that. Also, oxygen. If I was to put you in a room, I can starve you out with food or whatever, but you're still going to be living. Why? It's because oxygen is the number one information to your body and your brain. If I was to take that oxygen away, you would die in two minutes. Now, the importance on this information, let's look at most of the people who have money. Here you have uh, millionaires and billionaires and trillionaires got all this money but not enough money to know what to put in their mouth example Steve Jobs he had all that money but didn't know what to put in his mouth to eat to keep him alive to be able to sustain his life also we got uh, the man in the wheelchair Stephen Hawkins he knows about everything about the universe but he don't know what's on earth for him to put in his mouth now let me give you guys an example of an experience I saw myself working off show you'll see that the fish surrounds the rig now why does this fish surround the rig because well before i touch on that let me touch on gmos now gmos we all know are genetically modified organism right and our body are uh, organic beings natural organic beings so what happens when you start feeding an organic body genetically modified organisms well those organisms have the ability to change my dna so therefore, I won't act with what we call the original thought of man. We, we won't act on that thought. We'll start acting on what man does. So therefore, you could praise the Lord all you want, but if you eating from a man, then you'll start thinking like a man. But if you eat from God, which are the natural plants that we see around us that are free, we'll start thinking like God. We'll get back to our godly bodies. So how could your third eye be open when you eating carrots potatoes you know gm gmos when you eat in that gmos it's changing your dna day by day so this is why our people are mad this is why i won't follow no leader or you shouldn't follow no leader or you shouldn't listen to no leader that eats unhealthy man who's who's gonna follow somebody with swole ankles high blood pressure impotence and diabetes come on man he can't think for himself he's thinking irrational he's thinking mad this is most of the reason why relationships don't last that long you eating unhealthy you your, your belly swole every day you irritable when your period comes you mad come on man i've seen vegans man on their period they don't get mad because it's not painful and it, it flows it, they don't have no clots no none of this stuff because the food also regulates your body your body regulates your emotions so this, these are the reasons why people are mad eating gmos eating genetically modified organisms so as we see those gmos play havoc on the body big time now let's go to my story what i was going to tell you working off show a couple years ago uh i've noticed when i look down i see the fish surrounding the rig and i'm like man these fish know when the food coming what time is coming even the seagulls so we'll see them surrounding the rig right and i'm like why the hell are they doing it and I, as i started looking at the food here we are offshore feeding fish pork chicken cow and everything else under the sun that's gmo now you have the fish that everybody says so good hook 
to the GMOs that they know what time is going to come out. They know when it's going to be dumped. And they waiting. But let me show you how information is being inseminated to the fish. The fish do not remember the, uh, what is called, the, the path or the, uh, when the seasons change. They don't know. they supposed to know when the seasons change, when the tides change, and when the water get cold and warm. But by them eating from man instead of eating from God, the stuff that they're supposed to eat, they start thinking like, man, they are being greedy. They're eating all the foods. And then guess what? When it's time for the, swish, the fish to go ahead and swim off and migrate, they don't migrate. So the water changed, the temperature changed, and they died. They float up to the top when they were supposed to go to warm waters. But they can't think for themselves no more because they're eating what? Genetically modified organism, which probably changed their DNA. And the reason why you see in three-eyed fish. Yeah, man, this shit deep. It gets deep, man. I'm telling you, it gets deep, man. Because if anytime you see the fish not obeying the natural law or the original thought, it's because man has interfered with them and man has started feeding them GMOs, genetically modified organisms. So I hope that was enough juice for my people out there today, man. Um, I appreciate all the support and I'm going to continue to give you guys thorough information that I'm going to study myself, try on myself, and then give to you first. So any, any information I give you guys is going to be from experience only. I try not to touch on none of the social things because that shit is just a distraction because without healing and health we ain't got none of that what's what's a billion dollars when you gonna die next week with cancer some of y'all might say that's money and that's good no it's because you never experienced life and it's a shame that we rather spend money i'm not saying it's nothing wrong with money either too don't don't get it twisted all i'm saying is we need to put health first and our family first because this is what draws love and this is what gives us love eating the same food you see harmony through every animal on the planet when they eat the same food. So peace and love, family. Y'all be safe out there, man.